Alrighty, another Bad Donkey Gaming battle report today. We have uh, my orcs, uh, so John's orcs versus Tyler's Pure Guard down there. Uh, let's take you through my list here real quick. Uh, we got some knob bikers, uh, Pain Boy, Huge Chapa, Double Power Claw, uh, Wog Banner, uh, 10 Ludas, War Boss on a Bike, Power Claw, Death Dread uh, with the Scorcher and Big Shooter. Uh, 18 boys uh, there with the Big Mech, Custom Force Field, Knob with the Power Claw, one Big Shooter. Uh, we got 20 Shooter boys, two Big Shooters. A 30 man mob there with triple rockets, uh, knob with a power claw. Over here we got 20 boys with a power claw. Over here we got stick rot, uh, nine other dudes in a burna. Got another squad of knobs back here. Uh, two huge choppas, two power claws, uh, two regular guys. All right, yeah, uh, no, three regular guys and a uh, pain boy. They have a truck with a rocket launcher. And then I have three battle wagons. Uh, battle wagon with triple big shooter. Battle wagon with cannon big shooter. And then battle wagon over here with uh, double rocket zap gun. So that's my orc list. And we'll take it through Tyler's uh, tank heavy. And All right, Tyler, take us through your list here. All right, I got my um, my three uh, Lehman Russ, uh, two normal, one uh, Vanquisher. I have uh, three scout sentinels. Uh, two demolishers, uh, my usual setup. Uh, two basilisks, my command squad with a uh, master of ordnance. Two vet squads. Uh, I'm equipped similarly. One has two plasma, and the other one has two melta instead. Um, I have my two command with two sniper rifles and a medic. Uh, I have a lord commissar. I have each of these represents a different. Guard squad with a heavy weapons team, and the they, two of them have flamethrowers, two of them grenade launchers, otherwise they're pretty much standard. Alrighty, we'll see you after deployment. Alrighty, here is the deployment. So Tyler's got all his tanks loaded up here, and they're staring down my wall of armor here. With, uh, knobs off the left flank of the Dreadnought. Big Mech and the two, and the two battle wagons over there. Mob of 30, battle wagon. Truck of boys, stick rot in reserve. We got the Chimera, some guys, more tanks. And that is the deployment. So Tyler's gonna try to seize the initiative. Nope. And he rolls a four on his shiny gold dice. Alrighty, uh, middle of turn one, orcs, bikers over there, turbo boosted. The dreadnought ran and he rolled a six. Both battle wagons advanced. Uh, full 12 inches, truck moved in behind, and the loot is back here, shot up there and killed a couple dudes on the top of the hill. Alright, so that's the end of turn one, or not the end of turn one, end of my turn one. We'll see you at the uh, bottom of turn one. Alrighty, we're at the end of uh, turn one. Uh, battle wagon right here is dead and so are all the dudes. They got, they got blown up and then got shot to death when they were all out there and died. Uh, Veteran squad and Shamir rolled up and tried to kill some um, not bikers and managed to do a wound. Um, they did manage to hurt the ratlings by throwing their demo charge and DV'd onto them, and the ratlings are now falling back. Um, that's, that's about it. I mean, a lot of fire um, managed to kill one battle wagon in the squad, so not a bad turn for the Imperial Guard, so we'll see what happens in turn two. Alrighty, it, my middle of turn two, uh, the orcs declared their wog. Uh, the knobs came up over here, killed one Lehman Russ, and blew off the Vanquisher cannon, and uh, stunned and shook both of the uh, Lehman Russ. Actually, this Lehman Russ can fire its secondary weapons. It lost its Vanquisher cannon, though. Uh, both of the uh, demolishers over here are uh, shaken, so neither one can fire, but they both can move. And... Somehow over here, I killed the Ratlings, but the Chimera survived. It doesn't have a heavy flamer, and it can't shoot or move, but it's actually still alive somehow. Um, that's the uh, middle of turn two. So the Orcs have made a good general advance. Uh, orcs over here um, moved up and claimed two objectives. Uh, the Ludos don't have anything to fire at. 
And uh, that is the end, or uh, end of my turn two. So that's, uh, well, and I did use my wog, so the orcs no longer have their wog. So uh, we'll see at the bottom of turn two. Alrighty, end of turn two. The uh, guys, all these dudes over here for the most part, shot at the knobs, killed two of them and a couple wounds. Uh, we did a lot of fire into that unit there, killed a few guys. Managed to put a round of wounds on the knob bikers. Uh, they didn't kill the Chimera though in close combat because it couldn't move. Um, shot a little bit at that Basilisk too with some weapons and uh, it's still, or not Basilisk, but uh, shot at the Battle Wagon with a few weapons and it's still functional. The Basilisk came back here and fired. And I actually have a leadership test, which I pass, barely. And then a pin check which I fail, so they are pinned this turn. Um, and that is the end of turn two. We will see you in the middle of turn three. Alrighty, so in middle of turn three, I managed to hit every Lehman Russ again, and yet only one died. So they all can't shoot, but uh, they're, they're still managed to be moving around and being a pain in my butt. Um, the uh, Snickrot came in over here and wiped out a squad. Uh, the Dreadnought and the Knob Bikers killed the remaining squad there. So, And I advanced up this way and advanced to cover three objectives back here. And those guys are still pinned. So that is the middle of turn three. We will see you at the bottom of the turn. And we're at the uh, middle of turn three. And that pretty well does it. Uh, assaults over here went with the Orcs. Uh, they pretty much killed up all the tanks. And uh, the, with Tyler and the guard decide, you know what, we're just going to issue a retreat and uh, hopefully survive this giant wog that the orcs had today. So uh, that's it for this battle report. Uh, we'll see you next time.